Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel once more. Welcome to Gems Love and Brave. Welcome back to another edition of my daily routine. Today I'll be showing you how how I'll be able to find the acne so far on my face, what I use and what works for me. Okay, before I share with you the 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 oh, I am going to do today. I want you to know that before go into um uh treatment acne treatment, you have to know what causes your acne. Okay, like for me, I have been treating for the wrong reason before. You know, after childbirth, I started having um acne so much on my face, like uh, it's very big. It doesn't come little, come bigger. I was thinking it's hormonal changes. Uh, not recently, I found out it was cream. Uh, the the oil, the serum I added to the cream I'm using actually caused it. So, if not that I noticed that at the time, I won't be able to get a good result. That's why I'm trying to say that you have to know the cause uh, of the breakout. Okay, so. If it's caused by um by hormone, then definitely it to change it sometimes it to go go away. But if it's uh caused by a cream, a chemical reaction, like some skin um react so fast to hydroquinone. When you there's a level amount of hydroquinone in your creams, it gives you breakage, right? Uh, why some uh react to just the normal serum? Uh, when I miss you, it's not your vitamin C serum. I mean the serum, the oil you add to get your skin glow. This oil, yeah, because there are some oil that made for just the body and not the face. Why there are some made for face and the, the body, but it's hardly you see a serum that is made for both. Most serum are just for the body. So we have to read the caution before applying all these things in our body and. Um, if it's caused by this and you stop using this for say, I'm telling you within three ways you start your treatment, you will see a good result and it will come back, okay? But my actually, most of the time, I do make a mistake. Like yesterday, I made a mistake in, after applying cream on my body and I just use my hand to touch my face and that's it, okay? I have a, okay, that's it. I have another breakage out there so what i'm trying to say is that if it's called by a serum after applying cream on your body make sure you wash your hands or wash the chemical off your body your hands so whenever you touch your face it doesn't go into your skin because you're going to be using different cream on your skin a good moisturizer okay um the item I'll be needed for today, the OI, is the OI for the egg mask is uh, your egg, your tissue, uh, two bowls, and uh, also your brush to apply it. And um, I'm going to be needed a scrub, my exfoliant I always exfoliate my skin twice a week to be able to like uh, have that radiance. So that anything I put on my skin will definitely work well. So that is another important thing you need to know before applying anything on your face. You need to exfoliate for like twice a week. Yeah, it helps the skin to be able to absorb and give rooms to to uh, treatment or to other things to come. Exfoliate your skin. It helps to remove dirt and open your pores to heal, to 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 heal it. So guys, let's go straight to the video. And don't forget, if you are just coming across my channel for the very first time, don't forget to like, uh, subscribe, and hit the notification button because apart from love and brain. I'm also doing other things and keep I will keep posting a new video from my acting journey so far so you'll be able to learn more on how to um how to manage yours. Yeah, the list of things I need my brush, 
tissue paper, the egg, uh, the two bowl to separate the egg and the yolk and my exfoliant. Okay. Look at the pores that I just had for mistake of yesterday. Look at this. I'm going to wash my face first with water and soap, my acne soap. I'll wash my face before applying the desfoliant to my skin. It's very important so that you wash or you use your, your face cleaner to wipe your face. So I just stuck it with my towel to make it dry and now I'm applying the exfoliant, the cocoa product. If I don't use these, I will use the sugar exfoliant. This is it, the cocoa product. I'm going to apply this for three minutes. Uh, massage it for leave it for three minutes, then and come back to wash it up. Why waiting for this to set onto my skin? I'm going to go ahead um, to miss the the egg. Okay, going to miss the egg. Yes, my bowl, the egg white, is separated from the yolk, and I have my brush over there. Is I look the egg white that going in first before the the yolk okay so now I'm back to wash my face I just apply the same soap I used earlier my acne soap wrist off and um, tap it try to apply uh, my mask on it i'm applying the yolk first the yolk comes first is the first layer the yolk you see there is a why i say you need a brush for this because it's very slippery and uh you won't be able to get um a good result with your hands 
except you want it slippery all over your body or your clothes. Okay, this, now the second step is to put your tissue layer by layer, section by section before the yolk will come in, the tissue first. And now the yolk. Just use it to lay it down to the skin. When you are doing this and you notice it's not hard enough, you just go ahead and add more layers to it. Like my usually let it to be double so that when peeling it off, you will be able to peel it like a mask instead of uh, removing it one by one or having it break on your face. Now you see what I mean by making a double layer because the the first one is not strong enough so any touch it can just rip off. It can easily be broken you see. So I'm just going to add more and more to it so all become thicker. So that's it, more layer to layer. So I'm actually going to leave this for 20 minutes. That depends on you. I always like my mask to settle in like 15 to 20 minutes, if possible 30 minutes, okay? One funny thing about this mask is that when it's getting dry, it's tagging your skin, it drags your skin like, you can feel it like, I don't know, squeezing in or out, squeezing out oils from your skin. I don't know how to explain this, but if you have been there, you know what I'm saying. Just like every other mask does. So, I look like a masquerade. <laughs> okay, now I'm back. You can see it. Actually, in this video, I made a mistake. I removed it before i actually realized i have to come back for the video so i quickly put it back and come to make the video again but i was glad that i haven't washed my face if not the whole video will be wasted this is it 
So I'm just going to use my wipe to wipe my face before washing it again with my acne soap to get rid of the smell and uh, the remnant on my face. So much cherry this soap because uh, it's a DIY soap that add glows to my skin helps for this acne journey so far it's from uh, enb cosmetic uk yeah she actually shipped it to me with a the cream they helped me so far and now i'm going to apply my Oh my what I call it yeah my moisturizing gel from Calista it's a Calista product this side looks very slippery as a gel it help uh, in the process of glowing your skin they say I've been using it for three weeks um, I can't say it works so far but can see little changes just that this thing do take times to work the take time and like you say consistency is the key okay guys this is the end of the video ciao, ciao.